Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that a man must be born again to see the kingdom of heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, you're having fun today and you're partying. But if you were to die today, where would you go? Would you die and go to heaven or would you die and go to a place called hell? The Bible said that a place called hell is a place of torment. Hell is for anybody who wants to go. Hell will not discriminate. Heaven will not discriminate. It will take anybody who wants to go. And then today after you finish having your fun and drinking and getting drunk and you died on that motorcycle today, where would you go? The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords. Who will you follow today? Will you follow Jesus Christ? Or you will continue on your ways and follow Satan straight to the gates of hell? Jesus died for your sins. He don't want you to die and go to hell, ladies and gentlemen. Many people today will die and not expected to die. Many people die and go to hell thinking that they're okay. But once you die and you go to hell, you'll never get out. Bible says it's appointed once for man to die. Not twice, not three times. You will not come back as a dog or a sweet potato, as many will believe they have reincarnation. You will die once and then you will go to hell if you're not born again. The Bible says that you must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. And so what if you party on earth? 40, 50, 60, 90 years but you die and go to hell for eternity, is it worth it? And then you will stand before the Lord God on the white throne judgment day. And you'll be judged according to your works and your sinful ways. The Bible said that you will be condemned. You will be bound hand and foot and cast into the lake of fire. It is called a second death. Today, Jesus wants to be your Lord. Jesus wants to be your savior. But if you die without him, he then becomes your judge. There's men that died a thousand years ago, still in hell, waiting for that judgment day. There's weeping and crying in hell. Weeping like you've never seen before. You will have a lady, a mama, cry over her son in that casket, or that child in that casket. It's nothing like the weeping they have in hell. The saddest story in the Bible is when the man looked up out of hell and he cried for one drop of water on his tongue. One drop of water, that's all he asked for. He said, I am in torment. I am in torment in hell. You will never be relieved of your pain and torment for hell is the real place. You will spend eternity there. Is it worth parting today? The Bible says in the last days, as it was in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, they danced, they partied, they drank, they married, they gave into marriage, they became homosexuals, and they died and went to the place called hell because God rained fire and brimstone down upon them and burned that city to nothing. As it was in the days of Noah, they too danced and drank. They do smoked and party. They played around and gave in marriage and gave it to sexual sins. There were adulterers and fornicators. And God rained down from the heavens and flooded the earth. He said it will be that way in the same day before Christ comes back. That y'all will party. And y'all will dance and drink and smoke and curse and carry on with your sexual imperfections. He said in the last days, that will happen. And it's happening now. 
In the last days, you'll have floods and earthquakes. If you're looking, ladies and gentlemen, there's more earthquakes and floods. There were more earthquakes in 2016 since, since 1980. Earthquakes, by the thousands. But the, the major quake is going to come yet. Oh, God's going to shake planet Earth. The wrath of God is going to fall on planet Earth like you've never seen. And you can escape it if you accept Christ and walk right with God. But if you walk in your own sinful ways, you'll be condemned by a just God. The Bible said in the last days that there will be signs in the sun and the stars and the moon. 2015 we had the blood moons, 2016 we had a super moon, and the super moon was the closest, the biggest, and the brightest moon to planet Earth since 1948. In 1948 was the year that Israel became a nation. There's no coincidence to this, ladies and gentlemen. This year, this August 2017, will be a total eclipse. There'll be signs in the skies and the seas. The Bible said in the last days that the seas will roar. There are tsunamis. Flooding places, there's floods, sinkholes, mudslides, famine, the Bible says in the last days, there'll be famine. A third of the people are going hungry. A third of the world are going hungry. Yes, that's right. You can run from the word of God, but you cannot run from God. You can run and hide, but he knows where you're at. He knows who you are. And there will be books that will be opened up on the Day of Judgment. One book will be the Book of Life. The other books will be the Books of Works. Lonnie, don't go on that property. Don't go on that property. Just going over to here to see, see, hear the sound. Hear if I can hear you over there. Uh -huh. Why not? Why. I just want to see how Sal carries and if they can hear the it's message. Carrying. But if you go even where close to there, they're going to witness against you. Five, six, seven, you went over there and fought that motorcycle, you was on that property causing trouble. Okay. I'll just use wisdom, do, it, do what you say. You got to use wisdom on that. Okay. Because I'm just you know, stand there for a it's minute. just you and I against 20 or 30 of them with their witness. And you know, look, the police, you know. Look, they all went inside. Yeah. Ran them inside. The I God, ran them inside. Okay, I'll shut this off for a minute here. 